El Jefe was defeated, disgraced, and delivered to the cops. But it was a hollow victory. I failed to get back Ryuichi's cane, and we still had no idea who was really behind this whole thing. One thing was for sure, it was somebody powerful enough to have his own private army. We contacted Dimitri for an update on the Thebius Raccoonus, and it looked like Tennessee Kid Cooper needed our help next. That meant we needed to travel back to the 1880s. Luckily, one of the goons that took Ryuichi's cane had dropped what looked like an old sheriff's badge. Bentley had been trying to figure out where it might be from, but now it all made sense. After sampling the badge, Bentley was able to calibrate the time machine. As we prepared to make the jump back to the Old West, I found myself wondering how Carmelita was doing. We arrived in the Wild West, 
looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was gonna have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge.